Next question. AT Limited is considering three projects A, B, and C. Cash flows associated with the project are given below. Cash flows associated with the three projects have been given to us for A, for B, and for C. You are required to, there are five questions provided to us. A question is calculate the payback period for each of the three projects. I request all of you to calculate the answer for the payback period for project A, for project B, and for project C. Language of the question is very clear payback period, so we do not have to compute the discounted payback period. Try to do answer on your own. So here is the information of the question wherein A, B, C cash flows have been provided to us like this. In order to compute the payback period, we will compute the cumulative cash flow. For A project it is 2, 4, 10, again 10, then 0, 2, 6, 12. Over here it is 2000, 4000, 10,000 and 20,000. The question speaks that you are required to compute the payback period. Project A has investment of 10,000 which is recovered by end of 3 years. So we understand that as far as the payback period is concerned. For A project the payback period is 3 years. For B project the investment is only 2000. So that is recovered by end of year 2. So over here it is the payback period is 2 years. For the C project the investment is 10,000 which is recovered over here. So the payback period is 3 years. This is the way we are required to give answer for the A part of the question. Second question is, if the cutoff period is 2 years, then which projects should be accepted? That is a question. Please answer me that if at all the standard payback period is 2 years, then which projects should be accepted? Friends, we understand that in that case only B project would be accepted. Why? Because a B project is having so the payback period which is 2 years, which is within the standard payback period. So let us answer the question. Answer for the B question. The company should accept project B, comma, because it has payback period. of two years full stop remaining projects have payback period more than two years Start. Not an answer. C part of the question. You are required to compute like the projects with the positive NPV if the opportunity cost of capital is 10 percentage. Means we are required to compute the NPV of the project and the discounting rate is 10 percentage. And importantly, friends, you can see for 10 percent discounting factors information have been given to us. Always remember that say, whenever the present value factor information is given to us, then we don't have a choice but to use them only for the purpose of NPV calculation or present value calculation. Try to calculate NPV for each of the project using so the discounting factor 10 percentage. So friends, now the next working is calculation of NPV. As far as the 
Project A is concerned. Cash inflow is 2000. First year, 2000 second year and 6000 third year. Present value factors have been given to us and fourth year it is 0. So 0 0.909 into 2000. So it is 1818. Then it is 2000 into 0 0.826, 1652, 0 0.751 into 6000, that is 4506. This is zero of course and based on that say we compute the present value of the cash inflow. 1818 plus 1652 plus 4506. So 7976. Less investment. The amount of the investment is 10,000. So difference of both of them is NPV of the project. So the NPV is 2024. This is the way we will do the NPV for project B and NPV for project C. Of course, the projects which have negative NPV are not supposed to be accepted based on NPV criteria and the projects which have positive NPV should be accepted based on NPV criteria. So for B project, it is 0, 2000, 4,000, 6,000. This is 0. This is 1,652. 4,000 into 0.751. That is 3,004. 6,000 into 0.683. That is 4,098. So 1,652 plus 3,004 plus 4,098. So it is 8,754. Minus in amount of investment is only 2000. So huge positive NPV, it's 6754. That is the way NPV is found. For project C, it is 2216. 2000, 2000, 6000, and 10,000. So for 2000 it is 1818, again for 2000 it is 1652, for 6000 it is 4506 and for 10,000 it is of course 6830, 1818 plus 1652 plus 4506 plus 6830. So the answer comes to 14,806. The amount of the investment is 10,000. And NPV is 4806. This is the way the simple answer can be calculated for NPV for each of the project. So that an answer. Based on NPV criteria, comma, Project B and C should be accepted. Full stop. Reject project A. This is what we understand. 